I've been making social media content for over four years now and I think I started this channel about two years ago and in that space of four years I've shot over 100 videos maybe close to 200 videos or even more I'm not particularly sure but I've shot so many videos and a hundred percent of these videos or maybe 99 percent of these videos I shot them all by myself it's actually exhausting and tasking when you have to film yourself all by yourself but when you've done it so many times like I've done over the past few years you kind of get used to it so in this video I'm going to share a few tips with you on how I film myself and hopefully they can help you the first one which is also the only software on the list is Notion Notion is my all-round productivity tool it's an amazing tool I'm sure most of you have heard of it and if you've not if you scroll through YouTube there's like a ton of videos on Notion Notion is extremely complex or is extremely versatile there's a whole lot of things you can get done in Notion but for me I just use Notion to write down my video ideas I write down my video scripts so I take my time if I am scrolling anywhere if I'm walking down the street and any video idea pops up in my head I go straight to my Notion board and I write it down and also I use Notion to keep a detailed script of every video that I'm going to shoot so this is to make sure that I stay on track when I'm shooting my videos these scripts are not mainly for when I do talking head videos like this um, they can also cover for when I don't when I'm not even talking in the video I like to write detailed scripts of every single video that I work on so that when I'm shooting it I don't lose track of anything and I don't forget any you know particularly important piece of information so get notion and use it it's, it's an amazing tool now let's talk about my camera and the gear that I use I shoot most of my videos or all of my videos with my Sony ZV-E10 which is what I'm shooting with right now and I'll show it to you shortly but on some occasions when I don't have my camera handy I shoot my phone as well I use I use an iPhone 13 Pro and I'll be using it for um, a little over a year now and I mostly shoot on the normal video camera when I want to use my phone but on some occasions that like, I try to uh, when I want to have a bit more depth of field I shoot using the cinematic mode so I'll switch to my iPhone camera right now so I can show you my camera so I've switched my iPhone camera, it's what I'm recording with now. I'm shooting cinematic mode and I also increased the aperture a lot so that it will give me a bit um, depth of field. So this is my camera that I shoot with. It's a Sony ZV-E10. It's an APS-C mirrorless camera. So what this basically means is it was specifically built for content creators. So if you're looking for an affordable compact camera that you can easily move around with, as a content creator this camera is perfect for you i started my youtube channel with this camera and i've been using it for over two years now since i got it also the lenses are interchangeable so you can easily get um as much lenses as you want and upgrade whenever you want for me i have two main two lenses mainly um this is the sigma 30 mm f 1.4 lens this is my this is my baby girl this is my favorite lens i've been using this lens since i got my camera and it's it's amazing it's a fixed vocal length uh, of 30 mm so that's sort of the downside because i i cannot shoot so much wide angle and a lot close up and when i'm shooting with it i tend to move back and forth a lot you know, depending on the distance of the object i'm shooting with but apart from that it's amazing and it has an f 1.4 aperture so meaning it can shoot very good on low lights while also giving you a very good background block if you're starting and you can get this lens sigma 30 mm lens get it it will solve so many of your problems then the second lens that i have i got this one not too long ago uh, maybe about four months ago or so this is the sony 18 to 105 zoom lens so i got this because it's a zoom lens and it has a wide array of vocal lengths so it can go from shooting wide angle on 18 mm to coming as close up as 150 mm on when i'm using it the only issue I have with this lens is that it, it, the aperture is not quite low. It, the aperture is f4, so it may not be that perfect during low lights, and also it may not give you so much background glow when you're shooting with it. But aside from that, it is extremely versatile. So I'll just have to pop this right back because we'll continue shooting with this. Now let's talk about my lights. Lights are a very important aspect of your video. The way you light your room or the way you light your space sort of it changes a whole lot of things about how your videos will look. And this particular light that I use has made mine 
way better than it used to be so i use a good dos lcl62d it does an amazing job of illuminating my whole room it doesn't do it alone it has the help of this 65 cm lantern salt box uh this salt box it's it's sort of round so it helps to spread the lights across the whole room so two of them the combo of the the lights and the lantern has made my filming way better than it used to be then i also have some cheap lights that i use for contracts i i have this uh, soft lantern that you can see here i also have these tiny film film video lights on the floor here that sort of changes color and gives me a little bit of contrast around the room so if you can if you can find some tiny tiny lights as props that you can put around your space sort of to make sure your space doesn't look boring just find them and you know place them around the corner it will give your room or your space a different kind of feeling when you're filming now, one of the most important tools that you need to have if you are going to film yourself is the perfect tripod. Filming yourself means no one is watching your video for you. No one is monitoring your video for you, rather. So you need to have a very good, study, very firm tripod that will make sure your camera is well stationed and it doesn't shake and doesn't move around. And having the perfect tripod is is going to solve all of that for you and the tripod i've used for a very long time that has helped me build this channel is this tripod by yun tang um i don't actually know what the model number is but this, this is the tripod it's a very perfect tripod it's compact so it's easy for me to move around with it the the spinner here goes 360 so i can you know use my camera boots um portraits or landscape mode anyhow that i want it so it comes in handy when i'm shooting instagram reels i can just place my camera um vertically and i can shoot or if i'm shooting youtube videos i can place it horizontally and i'm good to go so those are the tools and the gears that i use in shooting my videos now let's talk about what i actually do when i start shooting to start filming, first I like to capture the space where I'm, sh where I'm filming. So I'll place my camera like I've done here to capture this whole space that I'm supposed to film before I actually put myself in the frame. Before I start filming, when I put myself in the frame, I like to go back and forth and make a couple of adjustments to make sure that I actually have what I what I want. Make sure you change the positions, you adjust the lighting, you look around the environment and remove whatever that you feel like is unnecessary to you have the perfect space before you sit down and you know start filming your videos now this is where one of my favorite things about my camera the sony zve 10 comes in hand it has a 360 screen so meaning i can just turn the screen to be looking at me so i can see what the camera is seeing and i can make sure that i am perfectly in frame when i'm filming but if you have a camera that doesn't have um a 360 screen then you can get a camera assistant for my camera i use sometimes the sony imaging edge there are some other camera assistants if you scroll through the apps that you find so what this does is when i connect it to my phone when i connect my phone to my camera rather i can be able to use my phone to see what my camera is seeing and also to make some adjustments or control the camera and settings the sony imaging edge app works perfectly so if i don't want to use my 360 screen i can use that sony this sony imaging edge app to sort of see what my camera sees make adjustments and you know put myself in the right frame when i'm shooting now when i'm shooting i use the automatic focus so uh, my camera and my lens have perfect autofocus so when i'm shooting it can easily detect my face and make sure i'm focused perfectly but in some other occasions when i'm trying to focus on a particular thing that i'm working on for example when i'm sketching my videos or when i'm shooting uh, my screen and i'm it, i'm designing i don't really need the autofocus because sometimes if my hand goes across the screen or if some element move the autofocus can change to follow what is not supposed to follow so in this kind of situations i use the manual focus and i make sure that i set it to focus on the particular thing that i want to capture you can do this whether your camera or whether your phone the iphone has an automatic um a focus lock function so when you are shooting with your iphone you can just tap on the particular thing that you want to capture and lock in the focus and um, that works perfectly as well when shooting i tend to move my camera around a lot so i tend to move my camera around a lot so i can get the perfect angles i can also explore different angles uh, of my space uh different positions of this room so that i can get the best looking video and when you move your camera around a lot like i do you will notice that some things will change um the way 
the room looks changed the way the light is going around changes a lot so when you're doing this feel free to make sure that you adjust the lights accordingly when you move your camera around when you move your tripod around a lot move your lights around readjust your windows you know adjust the extra prop lights that you have in the background just to make sure that your space looks very good while you're shooting filming yourself takes a whole lot of patience like a lot and i would advise you to please have the patience I don't feel like you have to get the whole thing done as fast as possible take your time take as many shots as you can and filter them when you're done this is what will make your video as perfect as you can get and um these are all the tips uh, these are the methods that i use in filming my videos on a regular basis and i hope you find something in this video that will inspire you till next time thank you for watching